Hey guys, my name is Bob. Welcome to the Excel Matcher. And today in this video, I'm going to teach you how to add the percentage error bar for each point all at once in the graph itself. All right, so in this graph, it reflects the the a, a point graph, all right, or dot graph itself representing the mean math marks of the class A, B, C, D, and E. So sometimes we want to add an error bar which shows the um, percentage uh, error itself. So basically what you can do is to click on uh, the points itself, make sure that all the points are highlighted, then after that click on layout. So when you click on layout, you can see this error bar uh, thing or icon down here, click on the error bar. And basically what you can do is to click on the this thing called the error bars with percentage that displays the error bars for the selected chart series with 5% value. So basically what it does is that it will actually uh, insert an error bar that represents the 5% of you know um, of the errors itself of the values all right so after which we have to you know click on this uh, horizontal um, error bar because this is not what we need we click delete and uh, in order to get this vertical error bar you can actually adjust this uh, vertical error bar by double clicking the um, the error bars on the graph itself and adjust this percentage so let's say if you want 20% you just type 20% and hence uh, the error bars will widen all right same thing if you type 1% the error bars will shrink or reduce okay and uh, of course if you want to make it uh, make this error bar much more thicker you can actually click on the uh, double click on the error bar again go to the line style and increase the width all right, and hence you'll be able to see the increase in the thickness of the error bars itself. All right, so that's it uh, for this video. Thank you guys for watching and do like and subscribe to this channel for more Excel math help, especially in this time around. Uh, we have math pro integration, as well as Excel tricks to help you to actually speed up your efficiency in Excel and math. All right, thank you guys. My name is Bob and I'm signing on from here. Goodbye, guys.